Oh, I may have gotten it fixed. Okay. I really hope that this is better. Okay, so how about now? Can you hear the end game and my voice? Um, Goshi, is this better? Because now I can hear the in game sounds and everything. Yeah, I don't know why. It's so weird because the thing with Twitch Studio, like, as simplistic as the program is to use, I've noticed that there are many, many times where I have to either restart Diablo or I have to restart uh, Twitch Studio to get them to work. Even if the input and output devices are set to the exact same things, like, sometimes I just have to restart them. But I guess that's the wonders of technology, right? <laughs> awesome. Okay, now I've turned my game volume up more than usual, so it might be louder than my voice in combat. And if it is, if the in-game combat sounds are too loud, just let me know, and I will turn those down. So... All right, mic check, mic check during combat. I feel like it might be a little bit too loud, maybe. How did that sound? Was that like okay or? In game sounds too loud still. Awesome! Thank you so much. Oh, Ashley0553, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Okay, right, awesome. That's. So good to know. Thank you so much for the input. I've been dealing with the audio issues for like the last 45 minutes and I'm just like, man, this is... I, I, I was about to give up. And then I was like, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Oh, it could actually be slightly louder because usually if I have it louder than 13 and it's set to 21 right now If I have it louder than 13 other people say that the game volume is So loud that they can't hear my voice as good. So that's interesting. I don't know I'm just gonna assume that I don't really need to adjust anything so <laughs> Yeah I gotta say, though, I am fucking loving my rogue. Oh my god, I love my rogue so much. She's so fun. Like, I was doing the, uh... Oh, that's good, thank you. I was doing the Twisted Blades build, you know, the, the stereotypical meta build for Twisted Blades and all that, but it's just... It's too boring for me, like... The, which is weird, because I usually love, like melee rogues, melee assassin types where you go all stealth and you backstab someone, you know, from the shadows. I love it. But I just wasn't enjoying Twisted Blades. I just wasn't. Uh, even tried it with stealth. Did not enjoy it. And I don't know why. So, and besides that, I really like um, ranged bow mechanics. It's Especially in ARPGs for some reason. Some MMOs, yeah. But in an MMO, I will usually go like the cloak and dagger kind of build. Silent but deadly. 
but yeah. This build though has been super fun. And I don't even have all the gear or aspects for it completely yet. I just respect her last night, which took like a long time. Oh no, they got me. Rip. I still got hit level 100 on my freaking Necro. I kind of put her off to the side to try different stuff because I was getting a little burnt, but... She is still my primary uh, character, for sure. reason why I started playing um, this rogue is because I wanted to have well okay my necro she's bloodlance right bloodlance build and bloodlance necros their solo dps is not that great and even at like level 97 with good gear i i mean little uber lilith like one shots me so i was like you know what i love rogues i love the entire style of that class so I'm just gonna go for the meta, kind of, sort of meta, where you just, oh, hello, but where you just basically, um, poison her down with all your imbuements, <laughs> and granted, I know most of those, uh, Uber Lilith solo rogue builds are twist, twisting blade builds and stuff, but I was just like, you know what? Maybe this triple rainbow imbuement build will actually work if I can get it down. I'm just missing a couple of aspects and maybe like one item that I want. And if I got that uh, Hakan's amulet, that would be great because I know that's not meant for barrage. It's meant for the ultimate reign of arrows, but I would. I would be more than willing to try that because that is, to, in my opinion, one of the top three coolest looking skills in the entire game. Yeah, that that's that's about the same amount of time I survived for Uber Lilith. It was like five seconds. I'm like, I'm level 97. I should survive at least 12 seconds, right? But nah, nah, dog. It was. It was not even a massacre. It was just I I didn't exist. She just she she was just like, "Hey man." And then she s touched me on the shoulder and then she sneezed to the side and then I was just gone with the wind. It was fucking terrible. And I was like, "Yeah. Um about that." <laughs> and everyone's telling me they're like, "You know you for the season journey, you don't have to solo her. You can go with a group." I'm like, "Yeah, but I will do that. I will go with the group for the season seasonal uh, journey achievement, but I would also like a build where I can fucking solo that cunt. I mean, words. <laughs> I gotta say, though, I'm really really liking this bow build. It's so good. So, so good. Granted, I know my werewolf friend is in here now, so he's like mega carrying me. Yeah, he's already way up there. Oh, man. But he's also like... Once again, it spawned on me, man. Man, I told him, I was like, you're about, you're gonna get to the point where you're gonna out-level my Necro, because my Necro was like 12 levels above him just like five days ago, and now he's like, beating me. Yeah, that's fine, Goshi, go have fun. Dude, you do you. Okay. Let's 
let's see what all we got here probably well i need to make more gold i literally spent like 60 million gold today or last night this morning whatever on just respecting this character to, into her barrage bow build that was a nightmare i'm broke as fuck now Yo, bros, like, die. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Dude, it takes me so long to kill shit. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Christ. That was uh, definitely some work. I guess there's a heart down there. Too bad you can't like mountain dungeons. I guess I understand why. I'm carrying too much. Of course you are. Don't need that. What is this? I don't really need that either. Fuck. I do need the gold though. Like, damn. Ah, shit. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. 69 versus a... Yeah, I'll take that one and this one and that... Oh, God damn it. It picked up again. Sorry, sorry, P. Uh, you might have to do that again. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to get better about this. I have so much shit to sell, though. Ah. Oh god, I'm rubber banding. Blizzard, fix your fucking servers, please. Hey. Oh yeah. At some point in this stream, I wanted to show off the gorgeous Diablo tarot cards that I got for my birthday, which was on August 13th, that my boyfriend well, gifted to me. Well, and they are... Beautiful. They're honestly probably the prettiest uh, tarot deck of cards that I own. And I own a lot, so that's saying a lot. And they're also the largest, by far the largest. It's gonna take me forever to build up more gold. Don't need this or that or that or this. I don't need any of that crap either. Salvage. Let's see what we got here. Don't. Nah, that's repair. Okay. Don't need these. What the fuck? It's all on repair. Come on. Come on. Come on. Salvage there. Okay. You can take what's left. Don't need this. Don't need that. Oh. I actually got an eagle horn. Holy shit. Uh. All right, salvage that, keep the rest, already repaired. All right, we're going. Let me 
Let's see, where did I put it? Right here. Boom. I got these. And they are awesome. Hey man, don't laugh at me, Pete. Don't don't make fun. But here's the cards I've been talking about. They're amazing. Okay, let me like not die first before I show off the cards. Okay, so here we go. Boom. And it's got a magnetic opening right here. It's even got a little red string right here to hold them down. And it's a full 78 deck, baby. Oh, that's what I love. I love standard 70, 78 decks. Oh, whoops. All right, so here's the, the booklet. The booklet. And then here are the cards. Okay, check out the back on these. They're kind of, okay, it's kind of hard to see in here. Need light. Here, let me turn my uh, light on. Maybe that'll help. So, maybe, I've also got a flashlight here, but the backs of these, see how they, like, have that pattern on them? Oops, this way. Yeah. Dude, these, are, these cards are so pretty. And here we go. So, here's your King of Pentacles. Asmodan. Oh, these cards are so gorgeous. They really are. Uh, I'm really bad at this, sorry. Queen of Pentacles. Here, actually, let me uh, widen my uh, camera view so that this is easier to uh, see. Yes. Here we go. Maybe this helps. But yeah. So we got Queen of Pentacles. We got Knight of Pentacles. Dude, these cards are. Uh, honestly, the camera doesn't do them justice at all. Let me pull it out by itself even to the side, like, yeah. Maybe if I edit, make this actually taller, like that. Nope, that's not gonna do anything, I just see my face more. I don't wanna see my face more, okay. And if y'all remember from Diablo 3, Magda, Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? The backs, though. See? Oh, there we go. Now that the light's on, you see how the back glistens? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Alright, and then here's your Ten of Pentacles. Note that there are 78 cards in this deck. So I'm just like, should I show them all? Or should I just go to the really cool ones? Or, so I mean, it's 78 cards, so it's gonna be a lot. This is Nine of Pentacles. I love the backing on these. So, so pretty. Eight of Pentacles. Seven. The 
I'm trying to go through these like quickly, but yeah. Six of Pentacles. Don't know if you can really see what's on there. There we go. Yeah. Which, I mean, I already told someone I was going to stream these cards because they're so pretty. Five of Pentacles. Pretty basic. Dude, some of the major arcana cards in here are so cool looking. Okay, so this is four. Four pinnacles. I actually think this card is really cool looking. See how like the edges, the edges where the red trimming is, they they shine. Ha, you're surprised my room is black, right? Well, if the room was black and I'm wearing black, no one would be able to fucking see me. So clearly something has to contrast, right? But yeah, there you go. Three of Pentacles. Two. Two of Pentacles. Okay, this card is really cool looking. Ace of Pentacles. I think this is just a badass looking card. The hand, man, it, it just, it's so cool. Uh, and here we go. Uh, King of Cups. I believe that's supposed to be Rathma. Pretty sure. It looks like Rathma to me. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's Rathma. And here we go. Queen of Cups, if y'all remember from D3, Sinadia, or S what's her name? Sindea, uh, the consort for Asmodan, the spider lady boss you fight right before you fight Asmodan. Yeah, this is a really cool looking card. Love it. Oh, this next one's even cooler. <laughs> this is uh, Knight of Cups. This is such a cool picture. Come on. If you don't like that, there's something wrong with you. That is so cool looking. And then here's the Page of Cups. Which I believe that is one of the uh, high towers in the angelic heavens for Diablo, if I remember correctly. That's what it looks like, if I remember right. This one's pretty cool too. This one is Ten of Cups. I think this one's beautiful. I'm not exactly sure who or what that is, or if they just made up a graphic, but it's beautiful. I love it. And then here's your Nine of Cups, which I believe on this card, I think that's supposed to be uh, King Leoric. From Diablo back when he was like alive I could be wrong but that was my first thought or it's like a druid from like a long time ago one of the two I can't really tell quite for certain but yeah and then here is the oh the eight of cups is really cool I think you guys might like this one see you have Undead Leoric in the background fighting what looks like a Crusader from Diablo 3. Very cool, very cool. This one is Seven of Cups. And this is, I believe this is Tyrael. Pretty sure that's Tyrael. Yeah. Very cool. Very shiny. Very shiny. See all see all that red just glistening off that card? Beautiful. Too bad this deck of cards is better than most Blizzard games. Ha! But here's Six of Cups. There's your Witch Doctor from Diablo 3. Oh yeah, these things are huge. Like, look at this. Like, okay, so this is my hand. 
holding it up. I have to spread my hands out just to hold this up. Whereas most cards, most tarot cards that I have are half this freaking size. These are the biggest ones I own for sure. And then this is five of cups. We're getting through them. Oh, and here's your D3 monk for four of cups. D3 monk. Three of cups. Ooh, this one's really cool. This is the, um, I'm sure you guys remember the witch, uh, What's her name? Adriel? Adriel? Whatever. And Magda from D3. I'm sure y'all remember Magda and definitely uh, Leah's mom, the witch. Adriel. Yeah, I thought this was a pretty cool card. Two of cups. Look at them. These two bitches are drinking together. They're, they're getting trashed, man. That's what I'm telling you. And Ace of Cups. Sorry this is taking so long. It, I mean, it is 78 cards, but I really was super excited to show these off to the community if anyone was interested. And then here is King of Wands. Honestly, um, I can't tell who that's supposed to be or which demon. I honestly can't tell. Maybe one of y'all can, but yeah, really cool card. And then, oh, this card is sad. Queen of Wands. If y'all remember Leah from D3, poor girl. Kane's, uh, Deckard Kane's granddaughter, I, I believe it was. But that's her. And then this is the... Knight of Wands. I can't really tell who that is either if you guys can. But, yeah. Very cool card. Very cool. We're, I think we might be getting to the halfway point, boys. Alright, so. Page of Wands. Not sure who that is either, to be quite honest with you. And I think we all know who this next one is. Ten of Wands. I think that's Tal Rasha when he was imprisoned. Pretty sure that's Tal Rasha anyways. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was if my memory serves correctly. And we got Nine of Wands, which is your Diablo 3 Demon Hunter, male. With all, see, see, the, the wands are actually arrows. <laughs> oh yeah, I really like this next card and the simplicity of the artwork is just very, very pretty to me. Eight of Wands. I don't. It, I know there's not much going on on this card, but it is beautiful to me. Beautiful. I am a nerd. I do know their names. I I know my Diablo lore for the most part. I there's maybe like five to ten percent I don't know, but I know most of it. Okay. Okay. Here's seven of wands. I honestly can't tell you who that is. See that face. All right, next one. Oh, I think we all remember these fuckers from D3. If you played D3 a lot, I'm sure you remember getting one shot by these in greater rifts at high levels, right? The hammer dudes, they're just like, ah, oh, whop, one shot. <laughs> Six of wands, baby. I actually think this card is cool as hell. Like, I thought those were one of the uh, coolest enemy types and. um... Uh, D3. And then here's your Five of Wands. And 
and then four of wands, which is pretty simple. Just looks like a bonfire with just a bunch of like people dancing around it. And then here's three of wands. Which, okay, I do know how to decipher most of these cards, but this one's extremely obvious. Um, Cause I mean, I, I do tarot readings from time to time, but this picture upward at least since his back is facing towards you it means you're looking back at your own like creations mental creations pursuits and whatnot and three is a number of creations so um you're basically like recognizing that you have the ability to create but you're turning your back on it essentially that's the main meaning behind it but not the full meaning there's a lot of subcontextual clues to these things but I mean, honestly, tarot cards are not that hard to uh, read because it really comes down to how well you know symbolism and uh, real life situations. But here's the next one, anyways. Excuse my tangent. This is Two of Wands. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Honestly, not quite sure who those two are. I feel like I should know. I feel like that's like from like D1 or D2. Probably D2, I think. Yeah, I can't tell. Ace of Wands, pretty straightforward. Just a dude holding club. Okay, this one, here we go. We all know this one since D4 came out. King of Swords. It's a Shava of Pestilence. Very cool card. Very cool. I like how they in, they put both like D2 or well three different ones. They put like D3, D4, and D2 in here. And here we go. Queen of Swords is a beautiful card. And Dariel, one of the lesser prime evils or lesser evils, whatever. This one's very, very cool. You can see her up close. Here is the Knight of Swords. And the next one is a uh, Page of Swords. This is, I believe, Gom from Diablo 3. Pretty sure Gom from, where do you fight him? In Act 4, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Gom from Diablo 3, Page of Swords. Definitely looks like a gom to me. God, that dude was so gross. <laughs> and then here is Ten of Swords. This card's actually very well done artistically to me. Ten of Swords. All right, moving on. Okay, this card is cool. Cool, cool, cool looking. Nine of Swords. Mm, look at that. Look at that artwork. Isn't that beautiful? That's so pretty. And here's your Eight of Swords. We're getting through them slowly. I know there's a lot. <laughs> there's some tarot decks that have over 100 cards, and I'm like, yeah, I'm good on that. That's too much. And here is Seven of Swords. I want to say that this looks like, like a high priest of the Triune cult for the uh, three prime evils. And then here is Six of Swords. Which is, honestly, this card is beautiful in everything it represents because um, since everything in creation comes in threes, since this is Six of Swords, it's repre representing as above, so below. So, like, 
see how the knives are going up through the boat trying to like basically sink his boat but he's continuing to paddle to keep afloat and there's hands reaching up for him but he's trying his best to stay afloat so as above so below as you try things will try to like pull you down but as long as you keep trying things will not pull you down kind of kind of meaning and there's also a crescent moon in the background which can symbolize um not fullness not full awareness but the um aspirations to become aware of your personal situations and to alleviate yourself of that situation so you can stay afloat while recognizing the problems below and above you so the negative and the positive and learning from it so turning your your uh, knowledge into wisdom essentially but moving on Okay, so this is Five of Swords. Female, female barb, I believe. And this is Four of Swords. Not sure who that is. Or what that is, to be honest. Oh yeah, I I, I do tarot readings, and uh, I used to do like runestone readings, all kinds of stuff. Um, I used to have a scrying mirror, but no idea what happened to that. Um, here's three of swords. Which. This card is pretty straightforward in its meaning. Three of Swords, like, even in other decks with completely, totally different artists, not even from, obviously the cards won't look the same from different artists, but Three of Swords basically means you're combating with yourself of your own inner, um, your own inner reality of what you know to be true and right and what's wrong and how you should go about to fix your own situation, but you're at war with yourself is basically what this means. And if it's upside down, it means you're not just at war with yourself, but you're at war with everything around yourself, but you also recognize the problem of why that is. But reverse just means you need to work on yourself a lot more. <laughs> and then here's your two of swords. Here is, this one's really pretty. Your Ace of Swords. Look at that. Isn't that such a pretty graphic? Everyone knows what this is. The World card. So they put the World Stone in there. You got Angel Hands at the top and Demon Hands at the bottom grasping for the world. The battle for mankind's souls, right? <laughs> Judgment. I think we all know who's going to be on this card. Fucking Imperius. Imperius. That jerk. Who also got impaled by a fucking what his own staff by by diablo just like how lilith was like i'm gonna impale you with your own staff inarius i'm like yeah the angels are really good at being impaled by their own fucking weapons in diablo i gotta say good job angels good job and here is the sun which i actually think this card is the dark wanderer from d1 i believe it was because the fact that the light is shining behind him and his silhouette is dark. Granted, of course, because the sun is behind him, but the fact that he's riding on a steed and the sun is out and it's very hot. So, and there are flowers blooming. You can see the flowers on the side. I feel like this is the Dark Wanderer. I could be wrong, but I also haven't played D1 
word D2 in a long time. So, and then this is the moon, which is one of my favorite cards as far as the meaning goes. But I thought this was really cool because there's a face in the moon. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry, but yeah. I think the reason why that there's a demonic face in the moon is because when, you know, like there's a full moon outside and it's bright as fuck, it's because the sun is reflecting light off of it. So I feel like that card represents that the uh, light from the sun is reflecting off the moon to show you the... I guess the inner truths that are hidden in shadows and are being brought to light even under the guise of darkness kind of thing. But yeah, here's the star, which I believe this is, oh, what's her name from the high heavens? Uh, I can't remember. What is it? I know her name. The angel of hope. But yeah. I loved her. I thought she was really cool on D3. And then here's the tower. Let's see. Which this card is... Okay, so... I know, I know what the card, the tower represents, but I'm just looking at a picture trying to figure out who is who. <laughs> okay, so it looks like you got... A demon back there and it almost looks like a almost kind of like King Leoric like being um, harvested like soul wise or something before he became undead I could be totally wrong on the picture but oh here we go so my boyfriend he was born on a on Halloween actually so his cards are the lovers and the devil every day of the month has two cards dedicated to those days but here's one of his cards he got Diablo <laughs> of course the devil try to get a clear shot on that it's kind of hard camera's not that great but yeah very very beautiful card Here is Temperance. Oh, here's one of my cards. I was born on August 13th, so my cards are the Death and the Emperor. So here's Death. Obviously, it's going to be freaking Malthiel from D3, Aspect of Death. Very cool card. Very, very cool. Okay, we're getting there, guys, I promise. And then here is the Hanged Man. Very pretty. All right, moving on to Justice. And we all know who the Archangel of Justice is, right, boys? Yeah, we're getting towards the end because I'm going through the major and minor arcana now. But, okay, so this is the Wheel of Fortune. Got your devils and your angels. Sorry if it's kind of blurry. This camera isn't the best. And then the Hermit, which is, guess who? Lorath. And he's in D3 and D4, if you guys don't remember. He was he was everywhere in D3. He was the one that had a crush on Kamala, the blood shard bitch. <laughs> I just remember Tyriel always being like, Lorath, why do you keep staring at Kamala? And he was just like, uh, dot, dot, dot. Just making sure she's up to no good as he stares at her continuously. Or as a low key perv, right? No. And then here's strength. Another barb. Oh man, it's kind of hard to 
get this camera to focus. Really cool though. Cherry, it's really cool. Here's this one. We all know who this is. Astaroth on his chariot. Yeah, this one's really cool. Really cool. Oh, I think you guys are going to love this one. This next one is uh, my boyfriend's other tarot card for his birthday, since there's two for each day of the month. His, the lover's right it's a Lilith and an Arius how cool is that how how that is such a very pretty card I know I just got DC'd I guess I should like relog I probably just lost like everything from that nightmare dungeon my friend just ran me through whoops here let me uh relog in real quick because we're almost done here anyways uh, yeah, I was just super excited to show these off. Here is the Harrowfent, which I know the, the Harrowfent is one that I don't remember them all, but I know the Harrowfent is the fifth day of the month, every month. So if you're born on the fifth, this is one of your cards. The Harrowfent. You got Elias. Yeah, very cool card. Very cool. And this is, since I was born on the 13th of August, I am Death and the Emperor. And here's my other card. I, I actually got Anarius, <laughs> which I think is kind of cool because even though he turned out to be kind of a bitch, like I, I think he, I still think he's cool. And here's the Empress to my Emperor. Right? Lilith. Of course it's a Lilith. Beautiful card. Beautiful. The High Priestess is next. Mother Prava. That was such a cool cutscene. Such a cool cutscene. And the Magician. Mm, of course, it's gotta be your ya boy, Deckard Cain. And then, oh, here we go. This guy is in like five cards in his deck. The Fool. Leoric. Right before he, well, got fooled. I mean, that's a pretty obvious story if you know the Diablo lore on what happened to him. So that's, he's the perfect representation for that card. And then, let me see, we got... I think we're back to the beginning now because I think this was the first one I showed was Asmodan, King of Pentacles. So I think we're I think we're done. Let me let me make sure. <laughs> yep, yep. So that's all seventy-eight cards, guys. Wasn't that awesome? These are huge. Look at how big that is. Okay. For example, let me show you one of my regular decks. Okay. I made this bag myself. I'm very proud of it, just so you know. But, yeah. So, your standard tarot deck, most of them, not all of them, but your standard ones are probably going to be about... Let me see. Let's see. Let's pull this up. That's your standard size. And this is the lover's card. And then you look at these Diablo tarot cards and they're like... <laughs> they're like... Huge. So yeah, these things are monsters. I would never shuffle these. Like honestly, I can't bring myself to use these in a reading. They're so beautiful. I just want to like laminate them and like put them up on my walls and order, you know, and then like these are the ones I usually read with though. 
But yeah, the tarot cards for Diablo was such a great birthday gift. Like, I love it. But this is my favorite deck to read with because the artwork is just like so, so pretty. So, so pretty. It really is. And also, they're small enough to where I can shuffle them. <laughs> I can't, I can't shuffle the Diablo cards. They're way too big unless I did the floor shuffle, which I don't want to do because I really don't want to tear them up. So I'm going to keep them as nice as possible for as long as possible. But yeah, put these back in here. I need to get uh, another sewing machine so I can make more of these little baggies here. <laughs> and you know, you can just keep your tarot cards in them, you can keep your D&D your &D dice in them, you can keep whatever the fuck you want in them, really. Your makeup, whatever, if you're, if you're a girly girl. But, okay, now I gotta, I gotta put these, these, oh god, that back. Look at that back beautiful that is. I can't tell you how much I love these cards. Ugh. Seriously, Blizzard, even though fuck you as a company, you did fucking great on these cards. <laughs> so, here we go. I'm gonna put these back up, and then I'm gonna get back to doing what my stream is meant to be doing and that's playing fucking games and not being like here's my shit <laughs> although there's one other thing i have to show off real quick i also got this for my birthday and i was super happy it's a legos lego set i can't wait to put this together you have no idea <laughs> But yeah, anyways, that was for my boyfriend's mom. She's, she is such a sweet lady, but okay. Now, back to the game, back to the game. Let's go. Sorry, I had a nerd out for a minute. <laughs> hey, let me go turn off my freaking light. Okay. I'm back to play video games. Uh, yes, I am very satisfied right now to show those cards off. They're, they're just so cool. I love them. Gosh, I probably own like 20 something tarot decks and that's probably my top two, top three most beautiful decks I own. Hello, Goshi. You wanna join? Ah, uh, pyramid. So, what's the plan, Sam? What are we doing? Are we doing, uh... I like your Legos! Are you gonna stream it when you build it? I actually thought about streaming it when I build it. Um, boyfriend might be helping me build it, but I've really really consider just like being like a separate stream be like this is not diablo guys this is me literally playing with fucking legos because i am like five years old you know what the best part of legos is stepping on them <laughs> i'll never forget that oh my gosh it's like the worst yet best pain ever in your childhood stepping on legos and be like oh shit that's where that piece was that i've been looking for to put this castle gate together, you know.
have like this weird coffee tea. It's so good. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing? Oh my god, you're level 96! You, dude, bruh. Stay on your rogue, what? So that I get, oh, 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 fine. Run, run me through one more dungeon, then I'm going fucking necro, bro. I'm going straight back to necro. I mean, that's... Right now, I'm lying to my viewers, because my stream title says Journey to Level 100 Patch 1.1.1, which I should update to 1.1.2 now, and I'm just like, yeah, Bloodlands necro, and yeah. So, now I'm on a fucking rogue. I'm, I'm lying to my viewers, man, that's not cool. Where are you going? Man, maybe I'll make like a uh, actual separate uh like YouTube video or something to upload about those fucking cards cuz they're mm. Yes. I was just about, if you like Diablo at all, you will watch this video on these cards just because of how pretty they are. If you don't want to watch it, well, fuck you. Oh, okay, I'm not that crass. I mean, I am crass, but you know. Okay. Man, I got this bow, but I don't use penetrating shot, man. I've been using barrage. Although this aspect makes me really want to switch to penetrating <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh, man. Let me see. Uh, skill tree. Where's pen? Penetrating shot. Okay, so we have... Dude, I need more points in Barrage. Like, 4 out of 5 is just sad. I can't wait till I actually get an item of gear and have enough gold to reroll to be like 4 points to Barrage. So it'd be like 9 out of 10 or something. Rapid Fire, Penetrating Shot. Okay. Bro. He doesn't even tell me when he starts dungeons. He's just like, I'm going with or without you. Trying to make me mess up on my necro leveling. I, I, I see you, Fenton. Pete. Pew, pew, Pete. I see your game. Oh god, Charnel House. I used to really hate this dungeon because those cannibal dudes, I'd be like, rah, and they would do that, and then you'd be, like, stunned forever, and then you would be dead. And then I understood how resistances and everything worked, and I just need to dodge the fuck out of the way because it takes me ten years to learn one mechanic. So, lol. And look, look, he already opened all these chests. He didn't even wait. You don't even care. I'm gonna go this way then. Probably regret my life because this is probably like tier 1000 or some shit. Oh, never mind. There's nothing out here. Everything's fucking dead because he already cleared it all. God damn it. Pete. I'm gonna just call you Pete. I know that's not your real name, but I'm going to call you Pete, all right? I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I'm sure you're not, darling. I'm sure there's a lot of people that, like, tune into my 
extreme, probably not a lot, but the ones who do, they're probably like, man, this bitch is cringe as fuck. And I'm like, you're not wrong. I am the ultimate nerd. Dude, he's all the way down here in the pits already. I guess I should, like, put an experience potion on or some shit. Ah, oh, shit. Wait, come. Come here. Oh shit, fuck, no, god damn it, no, fuck, I can't die, don't let me die. Jesus, ba sweet baby Jesus, be with me. Um, I mean, I'm not technically Christian, but be with me, regardless. Come on. Oh, I guess Jesus came in the form of a werewolf. <laughs> You're not my mom! <laughs> I guess that's true. Fuck, I died! You did it. Jesus! Why didn't you save me sooner, man? This could have been avoided. Go, pet, pet werewolf. God damn it. You could have saved me from that. They jumped on me and you should have just like froze them in the air. What's wrong with you? Don't worry, for you, I'd be dead. Yeah, if you're like a person in the Diablo world, you're probably already dead inside, not gonna lie. Yeah, I think I need to like buy like new lipstick or some shit. God, that shit's so old it tastes gnarly. Blah. Now they say like lipstick has like bat guano in it. I don't doubt that shit at all. That shit literally, mmm, delicious. And then and then you smile for the camera and they're like, you got you got some you know sh red shit on your teeth and I'm like, yeah, it's probably bat shit and chemicals. Thank you, makeup companies. Thank you. I don't wear makeup that much. Just just stuff for my lips because I chew on my lips a lot, so they're very dry. Thank you, makeup companies. I'm leaving. I like your name, or I mean your title, uh, Transcendent Shaman. Dude, look at, look at, look at this shit. I don't know how that happened, but like, if you can see the three dots on my thumb right there. I just woke up with that one day, and I'm like, that ain't no fucking spider. Is there something that's got three fangs? Because that would be a huge fucking predator. But nah. I think it's actually, to be honest, I think it's from harvesting cucumbers. Because, <laughs> goddamn, if you've ever harvested, like, cucumbers and shit, you know, some of those bitches got thorns out the ass. Salvage, salvage. Wait, wait, wait. I don't need salvage. I need to sell because I'm piss ass broke right now. So, what do you got here? You have 
have a deal. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, that's a great aspect if I was still running Twisted Blades, but now I'm not because I fucking hate that build. Let's see. Um, I'm not running Penetrating Shot. Oh, Spider Banana 2, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. And yes, I am over dramatic. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I am going to de this bullshit and this bullshit because I know I'm going to get better shit later on. So why hold on? Why hold on to what you don't need? As Feng Shui would tell you. So, should I salvage it, or just sell? I'll salvage it, because they're legendaries. Always need more mats, man. My skill is matched. I'm sure it is. Trash this, trash that. And trash this, too. Oh, sweet. New transmog. I don't need that. I'll keep on with the eagle horn because it's the only one I got. Um, I will hold on to this crossbow just so I can extract the aspect from it later on. Now, as for the hearts... Okay, so one's a wrathful, so I'm obviously going to keep that. But the uh, devious heart, I'm going to get rid of. Bitch. Often do his laundry. I mean, hey, if there's anyone in the stream that wants to play, I'm more than happy to fucking play with you. Even if you're like lower level, higher level, whatever. Oh man, my inventory is a mess. I don't know what to do with half this crap, to be honest. I'll keep these three. Right, the other ones, I think I will just fucking DE. DE. I'm so used to saying DE from fucking 2004 and onwards World of Warcraft. DE, disenchant, because I was an enchanter for like fucking 14 years of my life. That's kind of embarrassing. Don't tell anyone. Shh. Yeah, this, I gotta go to the actual dude that dismantles shit. All right, here we go. 
And since my friend left me, I guess I'm on my own. So. Dude, wait, what? This ranks higher than the ones I'm wearing? Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. These are literally the ones I'm wearing that are like the weakest. Wait. Has the same aspect? This brings things into question, boys. So... Let me check my stats on this. And trap skills. I don't use trap skills. Attack speed. Attack speed kind of matters. Barrage definitely matters. Um, what is this got? Critical strike chance. Definitely good. Willpower. Eh. Critical strike damage with imbued skills is good. I could... Mm, I don't know. What, what should I do? Should I replace the willpower or the intelligence? What do you guys think? If you have an opinion, just type it. Because I, I will listen. I might not agree with it, but I will take it into consideration. Because my gloves clearly are only 687 plus 25 item power, so I need something much better. And this is like 100 levels higher, so yeah. Um, let's see. I don't need this. I don't need that anymore. Okay. Ooh. Knuckles making me itchy. Moving on. It says it's the same fucking thing, right? Giant and use trap cooldown, so. I'll probably replace willpower, because, um, granted, yeah, my necro is an overpower willpower, like, build, but. This character is not, so I'll replace willpower. So that would, I would have, yeah, okay. The, the exorcist or whatever the fuck they're called. Occultist, not exorcist. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. My bad. And this will give me plus forty armor. That's pretty good. I like that. I'll keep the intelligence because some of my uh, Paragon nodes need the intelligence for the uh, glyphs to work. So I will replace the willpower. Dude, I'm going to be broke. I'm going to be broke again. God damn it. I just spent so much, so much money yesterday on this shit. Tax B. No, 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 bro. One more chance. Okay, okay. One more chance. Okay, forget it. I'm done. I've got only, what, 1.7 mil gold left? That ain't enough. <laughs> Spider Banana 2. Yeah, if you ever get Diablo 4, just DM me, man. I'd be more than happy to play with you. And soon I'm going to start streaming um, Remnant 2. I don't know if you're into, like, Remnant or anything, but, yeah. Definitely down to play with people. I play a lot of uh, horror games, RPGs, uh, like... Diablo, Grim Dawn, Titan Quest kind of stuff. Um, Epoch. Uh, what else? Um, I do third person shooters, but I love stuff like Dead Space, um, Alien Isolation, uh, Survival Horror. Sci fi games are great. I'm not really huge into like overly dia like 
games that have too much dialogue. So like, I re I'm I plan on playing Baldur's Gate three for sure, but I am also aware it's like Divinity in the aspect that there's a lot of fucking dialogue, which I tend to lose my patience with, which is probably not a good thing, but it is what it is. So, yeah. Yeah, anytime. Just if you ever want to play with me, just hit me up, man. And I'm more than happy to get down. More than happy. Bye. I meant hi. Whoops. Okay, so what was I doing? Alright, so gloves. Oh wait, okay, so this guy. Bruh, but that's gonna look like you get a chance on it. Oh, God, why does this have to be so hard? Hmm. Wait a second. fucking me up I mean, maybe if I imprint an aspect into this because I feel like this would be a lot better yeah this would be way better than my current gauntlets I just need to get unfortunately switch out the lucky hunt chance for barrage so Oh, uh, wait, what? Okay, so currently unstoppable. That is unstoppable, okay. Let's try changing. Oh, God. I'm... <sighs> oh, I only have 1.7 million gold left. <gasps> it gave me three ranks of barrage. That's so good. Oh, my gosh. It's not four, but, you know, three is better than nothing. Fuck. Which I was running three ranks of barrage before anyway, so. Uh, let's see. Critical strike chance. Okay, let me just hit shift. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. Okay, so. Higher armor. Critical strike with imbued skills, that's great. Three ranks of, ranks of barrage, that's really good. Uh, critical strike chance, really good. Um, intelligence versus willpower, I mean, either way, you know, it doesn't matter so much for me at this point. And granted, yeah, the aspect is only off by four seconds, so that's not much of a difference to me so I'm going to equip this because it seems a lot better now I just gotta go actually see the uh, armor and upgrade this I guess I also have a point to spend Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay, I guess I'm gonna repair this. Da, 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 da. I can just go to Kyogasha, disenchant this, and then I am going to run, I guess, I guess a nightmare dungeon. Or if there's a hell tied up, but I don't think there's a hell tied up right now. Pretty sure there is an anyways.
Yeah, I don't need this shit. Fuck that. I'm gonna disenchant this. Dude, my inventory is so full. Word of advice. Until Blizzard figures their fucking shit out and gives us armories like they did in D3, don't roll more than two fucking classes unless you know the exact build you're gonna run. Because if you're experimenting with like two, three different builds on a class, do not make more than like two or three characters, seriously, because I've only been playing three different classes this season. My inventory is so full from experimenting with builds, and my Necro, she's strictly Bloodlance, strictly Bloodlance, so I know what I want to do with her, but my, my, uh, my Sork and my Rogue, though, since I've been experimenting with them, the builds have been crazy, so I've been saving items that I may or may not need, so my inventory space is extremely fucking limited, so I do not recommend that. Um, I definitely suggest researching your builds, unless you're super into theory crafting, which I completely get, because I'm into theory crafting too. Okay, so now, oh man, everything I got from that was like tier 50 something. I don't know if I can do this shit, man. I can try. Let me check the, uh, the timers. Hmm. see here. Okay, so we got an hour 40 minutes before world boss and only just under 12 minutes before gathering legions, which I don't typically do those, and Helltide in 17 and a half minutes. So I am just going to do a dungeon. How about that? Yes. Yeah, that works out. Oh wait, this motherfucker's AFK. I'm leaving. I'm leaving group. Unfortunately, I am way too weak to handle some of those yet. Yet. So. Wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, that's right. I don't have access to that dungeon yet. Oh, here we go. We'll try this one then. Just had to do the peace sign. Hi. Because I'm socially awkward and don't know what else to do. So, hi. <laughs> oh, I'm getting messaged. Okay. <laughs> oh goodness, people. Do these penitent knights, they're such assholes. If you read all their dialogue in every dungeon you go into where they're there, they're just straight assholes, man. And that's why I feel so fucking good killing them. Reminds me of my church days. Just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. <gasps> Fuck. I got smoked by the power of Christ. Shit. I 
I mean, if you're on Twitch and you give me shit about what I just said, why are you on Twitch? <laughs> Alright, serious face on. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, uh... I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what happened. I think I got off-screened. Also, I'm holding my nose because I'm trying not to sneeze. Dude. You guys see these banshees right here? Those are the first fucking things you should kill. This lightning motherfucker falling. Blast wave, cursed blast wave shine. Of course, of course, of course. build is so much funner than Twisting Blades. I... Yeah, sure. Twisting Blades, you run in and your m mob... Group, group of mobs that you run into, yeah, they blow up into oblivion, but it, it was just so boring to me. I tr tried my fucking hardest to like that build, and I just couldn't. Even if I made different variations of it, I just was not into it. I guess because I'm a I'm a bow bitch at heart. <laughs> I thank you. Yes, I will take your loot gladly. Thank you. Moving on. Now then back here. Of course. God damn it, you would spawn back there. <laughs> I fucking knew that was gonna happen. I was like, I saw that shit on my map and I was like, yeah, I am so fucked. Alright, so moving on. Let's go. <laughs> okay. For real this time. For real. For real. Boom, baby. Boom. Boom, shaka laka laka. Dude, I can't survive that. The only way I can survive that is I pre pop a fucking health pot so I can heal through it, and that's the only way. My Necro, on the other hand, that lightning shit can pop and she can live through it. Unless it's like tier 70 plus, then she can't, but yeah. Do me a favor and get yourself off the face of this earth. Thanks. I think part of the reason why I like um, Rogue so much is because they have Poison Imbuement. Sure, they got Frost and Shadow Imbuement, which are both really fucking good, but Poison Imbuement just, mm, 
It just, it, it feels so good. Just watching their health bars just shrink. It's so good. So fucking good. <laughs> I really love my rogue. Like, I played one in the Eternal Realm, but only until, like, level 20-something, so I didn't get the full experience of it, but now that my seasonal rogue is level 71, I'm just like, oh my god, I love it even more. It's so good. It's so good. Granted, yeah, I die a lot, but, you know, I am a newbie rogue. I main necro, so... <gasps> what? I thought I was gonna get him. I thought I was gonna get him. What? Wait, what? Wait, I'm actually confused by that. Hold on, I got I got a rub right here for a second so I can reassess what just happened. So what I've learned from doing that is that I clearly suck. So uh yeah, about that words and things. What was this? Gathering Legions? There are health hides, no health hides. Okay, God, I need to clear out these fucking strongholds. Ah, I don't want to do it. Hey, any of these dungeons that are like doable for um, extra whispers? Mournfield. It's not even in rotation right now. Stockades is in rotation. Um, let's see. Dead Man's Dreads also in rotation. So, Dead Man's or Stockades. Do I have those? I do not, unfortunately. Oh, fuck. Oh, hey, sweet. My carry wolf is here. My pet wolf is here. Master mom. That sounds weird to me. It's like I'm either your mom or I'm your or I'm your master. You, you can't pick both. I would like to do whatever makes me level higher. What well, elevates me to a higher state of fucking being, dude. So, in other words, I just want to get higher levels. <laughs> Dude, this fucking corpse though. The thing I don't like about corpse bows is the fact that not only do they one shot you off screen, but the fact that they were like, I'm gonna crawl to you for like 10 seconds straight and then I'm gonna be like, Pfft. fucking snipe your ass. I'm like, bro, that's not cool. This ain't Guerrilla Warfare, this is online gaming. Oh wait, oh wait, I guess that's basically the same as Guerrilla Warfare. My bad, my bad. But you're NPCs, it doesn't fucking count, corpse bows. Shit. Alright, where am I going? Let me see. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, right here. I have way too much hair. I was supposed to get a haircut like a month ago and it was gonna be like, you know that movie Aeon Flux with Charlize Theron and it was like, like short like this. 
I was gonna get the same haircut, but then I totally pussied out because I've got like four feet of hair in real life and like you can't even see it like if I pull it down it's just like it's crazy long <laughs> and I'm just like man as much as I want to get that done like I I totally wussed out also because my mom and dad are just like don't do it because they're they're super old style nothing against my parents they're just like, don't do it. And not just that, I've had long hair all my life, so I'm kind of kind of scared to do it. <laughs> but I probably will eventually. Eventually I will. Just also because the, the physical fact that, like, the hair back here, behind my neck, it gets so so hot and hot weather like you wouldn't believe like and I've got three pounds of hair I've weighed it before I've got three and a half three to three and a half pounds of hair and if I was to shave off this whole bottom half oh my god I bet that would be so much relief so much relief and just the heat getting trapped up in there is just ugh you wouldn't believe how bad it gets. I'm not ready yet. See, he's already up there. He's already far away. That guy said no to me. <laughs> he was just like, nope. How to get corpse bowed one on one, baby. I'm not even on my main, which makes it even more sad. <laughs> oh well. It be what it be, right? Ooh, ooh, oh shit, I knew, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it, I knew it. Where's me, baby? You got this. Why, thank you. Alright. So, after I actually hit level 100 on my fucking Necro, I'm gonna start streaming uh, uh, Remnant 2. Because, holy shit, I love the shit out of Remnant 1. Granted, yes, it had its problems, but damn, I played the shit out of that game. That's so good. My sister just started playing Elden Ring, and she's never played a Souls-like game in her life up until like a month ago. She and she started with Elden Ring, so I'm just like, have fun with that. And she's messaging me like every night. I just got past this boss, and this happened, and this happened, and I switched classes to a mage, and everything's so much easier now. I'm just like, well, I mean, I was told to start as a. What, what class is it in um, Dark Souls and Elden Ring where you start with literally nothing? I can't remember the name. I'm sorry, it's been so many years, but I was just like, yeah, I was told to start that way, and I did, and I hated my fucking life because of it. <laughs> it was pretty rewarding, though, once I would be able to kill bosses starting out with nothing, but yeah. Alright, 
Okay, so here we go. Next place. Let's go. Oh, that's a lot of fucking dudes. I like to think that my damage is significant. Considering I'm running three different imbuements and my aspects are not too bad, so... God damn it. I'm I swear to god I am not useless. <laughs> okay, maybe on my rogue I am useless. But yeah, about that. There are many words to be said there. Dude, look at that, I'm already almost dead. Fuck. Uh uh. Fuck off. Found my werewolf bitch. You probably heard that in stream. I was like, did you just call me a bitch, motherfucker? <laughs> Frozen, poison, boom, baby. Mm. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna. I'm not going to die. I'm not gonna die. I'm carrying too much. I'm carrying too much. Of course you are, bitch. Dude, where did he go? Damn, he's already up there? Fucking druids and they're fucking... I'm gonna outspeed you. God, it's like they're on crack cocaine or some shit. They're so fast. Dude, he already killed it! See what I mean? I didn't even... He was up there! I'm down here! Already fucking dead. Jesus Christ. Dude. Chill your tits, man. Okay. Alright. Well, I got that's an item level that I do not give a crap about. Okay, about this. What about you? Kind of weak. Also very weak. Kitty. Kit uh, oh, did you see the kitty on the webcam? Did you see him? The black cat? Kage? Yeah, he's a sweetheart. He's a spoiled little brat. No, that was Kage. He, this baby right here, I'll show you. This guy. Hi. Yeah. He's an all black kitty. Yep. There you go. Go drink your water. They're spoiled. I have this whole cup of water right here for them and it's sitting right on my second desk so they get to lay right here next to my computer and drink water and be very very spoiled because they'll drink water and I'll pet them don't walk in front of my screen again man you do that a lot <laughs> Yeah, they're very, very spooled rotten, for sure. Rowan, I don't know. Oh, I actually can see him right now. He's, if, if you could see from my perspective through the door crack in my room, 
He is right up there looking directly at me right now. And I guess I guess the female cat was in here too. She just ran out. So dude, there's cats everywhere in this house. Just go to my Instagram. It gets pretty wild. I posted a reel today of all three of them meowing like crazy at me. I'm just like, but why? I didn't even have a can of tuna or a can of food. They're just staring at me meowing. I'm like, why? You have food. But it be what it be. Kitties are cute and I love them regardless. Sell, 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 sell. Eventually, oh wait, wait, wait. That was an 809 hood. Okay, I'll hold on to that. Um, honestly, anything that's other under item power 790, I'm probably just gonna trash because I have so much of it already. And yeah, see some 59. I don't need it. And my inventory is so full right now. Oh, hey, I'm level 72. Now oh, my hair looks crazy. It always looks crazy. I don't exactly burst my hair. I just kind of go on camera. I'm like. <laughs> I tell you what though, makes great insulation in the winter. If you're cold and you're outside in the winter, this is what I do. I just go. And it covers my back, my shoulders, my front. And I am warm as fuck from the in insulation of it. I guess that's what happens when you have super Asian hair and it's like four feet long. There he goes. Already on a werewolf rampage. Ooh, ancestral. You missed the chest. What's wrong with you? I want to see if I can kill this room of shit. I can't because I had no health to begin with. Worst noob in history. Worst noob in history. Damn hair. Okay, so if I do this, do that. The point here. Alright. So... I should be pro now, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> we shall see what we shall see. I don't have too much longer left, though, because I do actually have to take care of some stuff around here. I just died. Dude, what tier is this? What tier is this? Bruh. Fucking bruh. Ah, uh, that would explain why I'm fucking dying. It's tier 57, so clearly I'm gonna die like, like, someone sneezes at me. It's like, <laughs> coronavirus is to death. So, yeah. Makes sense. You know what? I will just stay in range of you to collect the group EXP. Yeah. Because after this, I gotta go, like, harvest the garden, pull some weeds, do some shit.
but I want to see snakes for as long as I live. I love snakes. Especially if they're wearing hats. You can call them snacks with hats, slippery tube dudes, nope ropes. I love them. They're so cute. But man, if I ever owned a snake around my Christian mother, oh my god, I would never hit the end of it. She'd probably kill my my pet snake in my sleep. That's how it would go. Bet you anything. My dad would be like, I didn't try to stop her, but I also couldn't stop her because of her beliefs and how strong they are. So my dad would just be like, I'm sorry, bro, but it happened anyways. And I was there to witness it. I'd be like, thank you. Thanks, Dad. Thanks. He'd be like, I'm sorry, man. That's exactly how it would go. <laughs> and then I would forgive him because I'd be like, I understand where you're coming from because we, we know how our family is like. My family is not bad, but just saying. Just saying, you know. There are some altering beliefs. Motherfucker! Motherfucker. Bro. Oh my god. Save me from myself. Shit. Yeah. I definitely gotta take a break after this. I gotta eat some foods. Go take care of the garden. Boom, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Close, 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 close. Dude, these guys don't fuck around. If it's too low level. Mm. That was close. I about died there. Shit. Why did I even try to solo that? I tried and I failed. God forgive me. Res me, baby. Let's finish this shit up because I really got to go to the ladies room and I also need to like go take care of the garden and have a snack. <laughs> Fuck you. I'll take that cage chart though, motherfucker. Dude, for real? Why, why is my keyboard freaking out? Uh, why, why is this happening? Can someone explain to me why my keyboard is typing out all those weird characters. I'm typing normally. That's fucking strange.
probably playing too much shit. Let's see. Um, da, 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 rings and amulets. Can I sell shit at least? Oh, wait, 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 I want that back. Okay. Sell that. Sell this. Sell this. Sell this. It's good enough for me, baby. Oh, man. Why, why is my keyboard typing like that? I don't, I have no idea. It's kind of fucking weird. type now. That's fucking awesome. I guess I'll just restart my entire fucking computer after this because I've not had this issue with streaming before so kind of fucking weird. Even hitting tab pulls up clan chat. Ha. Ha. Glyph thingy. Spawn on me, motherfucker. Dude, yeah, this is fucking bizarre. What the hell? folks clearly my keyboard and whatever the fuck else is not wanting to work together so i'm gonna go take care of some house chores i will be back in like an hour or two all right love y'all thank you for tuning in peace thank you for watching